I'm going to make this unbelievably quick. Um, I went to the Mortal Kombat website and um, we have stuff. This thing is literally called Mortal Kombat 1. I'm not fucking kidding. It's just Mortal Kombat 1. And by God, Liu Kang's still here. They're actually doing it where it's a story in the past. Looking at this, I haven't seen the trailer yet, but looking at this footage of what's going on, which firstly, I'm impressed that there's actually stuff being shown. But look, pre order exclusive playable character Shang Tsung. And that design also looks like movie inspired, which is his worst design, honestly. I'd rather have the MK2 free shit. Um, actually, would I, I? I don't know. Point is. Not not in the pre-order bonus is exciting, because you know they got the boss theme, but because they don't give a fuck about Kentaro and they don't have the balls to bring in a three D era boss, it's just Shang Tsung again. And this is the new era where Liu Kang actually said, "Oh, no more time to be twisted by your evil," implying Shang Tsung's just gone from this universe, which doesn't make sense because this is a tournament story, so Tsung is probably involved still. Like, I, I don't think he's the pre-order bonus because he's not involved in the story like how MKX Goro was. I think he is in the story, but you gotta buy him. You gotta buy the game. And September 19th, that's the date, which is earlier than I imagined. I feel there might be some pushback there. I, I assume it'll be before Christmas, at least. But September 19th, apparently. So let's look at more of the information. It's in our blood. You've used that tagline before. But, oh god, that is an awful font. Uncover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by the Fire God Liu Kang. Mortal Kombat 1 ushers in a new era of the iconic franchise with a new fighting system, game modes, and fatalities. What does game modes mean? We get in chess combat, we get in puzzle combat. Or just anything new and it's actual side content. Cause I don't think we are. I will say this is a better by God Luke Kang design, but no. No. In this story campaign, fight for a brand new story featuring your favourite more comic characters like you've never seen before. Okay. <laughs> Who are those characters? Watch today's trailer. Oh there is a trailer here. Cameo fighters. Choose from a unique cross of cameo fighting partners. To assist you in battle, what the hell? Also, no, no, they have. To, they, they are basing off movie designs. I just realised that is atrocious. That is that is so fucking bad. Not even I expect them to do that. Is, is Cole Young in this game? He's in this game, isn't he? They were carried to Shang Tsung. Oh my god. Oh my god, I assume that's Scorpion and Sub-Zero, I guess. I can't even fucking tell. Okay, I think that's where you know. Yeah, your date of birth. Um, I was very legitimately born in 1985, let's say that. Show me the trailer then. A short announcement trailer. Sound. It is time. Well, they still got a good voice actor for him. I'll turn that down. That's just the great Kung Lao, though, isn't it? That's not Kung Lao. That I have painted in with warmth and peace. <sighs> oh, in my but... new era, the choice is yours. Whether to live in quiet serenity or bloody strife. Firstly, I really... Because that's the great Kung Lao. That's not regular Kung Lao. They'll probably just call him Kung Lao, you know? Um, especially because this is the time where he would just be known as Kung Lao. So they're going to act like this counts as Kung Lao being on the roster. This is a different character. And, well, quite frankly, the Kung Lao we know in modern times, he's changed drastically because of Shaolin Monks making him an asshole. Um, he was a great character up until that game. And this is just even worse for him. And I, I really hate the idea of Modern Kung Lao's design is similar to, to the Great Kung Lao because that's just ridiculous. You know, it, it's like his costumes are 
from the Grey Cumber House, so that's an absurd coincidence. And also very dull colours. Oh, that is a nice master, Katana. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Oh, we'll see why. Well, I was going to pause because that looks really good, actually, visually. It's got, I turned my notifications off. Fuck. Okay, fix that, even though they were off. Um, I mean, the video quality is already scuffed. So. Yeah, is that a Denio? Or is that just Outworld? I'm very curious. Katana does look good though, it's decent. I hope you can't really see a design for... Um, I, I would have been very cool seeing that because it's Katana and Melina sat next to each other. Allies, presumably. But Luke Kang has just said bit of rivalry, so they're gonna Melina's gonna betray her or some shit. And I don't know what the premise is. You can face each other. Oh. As sworn enemies. Or united as brothers. Okay, there's at least colour. I really don't like that at this time, so. Also, this is the past, right? Because that's the Great Kung now. That's not Kung now. So, what's the explanation for the sub Saiyan Scorpion? Are they just saying, well, Liu Kang brought in the other heroes just earlier in the time period? Because they also have, like, like, you can create a new era and then it doesn't start at the beginning of time. You can just choose a point in time where it begins. Which, if so, then why would you start it not at the present or at the start? It just doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, let, let's let's continue. Turn it again. <laughs> the blood moves rising. Okay. Oh, that's that's him. So. What's going on there? Who's the other guy? Are you telling me that's Raiden? I, and why is this Paul? Let's have a look. Like, graphically, it looks great, so it has to be excited. <sighs> Aftermath! Aftermath, did she have that be, be the main rivalry? Why are you doing this again? Shouldn't Aftermath have just been your MK1 homage? MK Aftermath was a retelling of the third act of MK11, which is weird. You had a retelling in the same game. And now we're just doing that again. Fuck off. Fighting. This should have been a hard reboot. Okay. Right then. Okay. And you can you can just tell that is some and that looks way too realistic. That's fucked up. Coming to see the reports of more employee PTSD. Also, yeah, yeah, Shang Tsung is the main villain of just a, a single game. Not is that boring, because, like I said, Aftermath did that anyway, and poorly, might I add. But, <sighs> a full game? Like, no, but people wanted Onaga. And I don't agree with that, because I don't trust them handling Onaga, but I think logically you should do something huge like that. Shang, Shang Tsung, though? Oh my days. Are we even going to get Quan Chi back? Like, again, at least do Deadly, the Deadly Alliance. You have chosen war with a also, to clarify, I, I assume that was like... I don't know, actually. That, is that, the, that can't be the gameplay. Right, that's got like, cinematic stuff, but that's not story, because they just saw characters die. This is so fucking weird. That's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, it's just gameplay. This is going to be an in-game fatality. Get used to seeing this over and over again. That is just gross. Mortal Kombat 1. I'm going to call it MK12. Because... <laughs> it's 
in our blood. I swear Deadly Alliance used that tagline. Wait, no, it was, it, it's in us all. Or was that Deception? One of the 3D games did something like that. Like, that's just... Um, September 19th. Fuck off. I'm calling it MK12 because... Calling it MK1 is so inconvenient because people call the game from 99 to MK1 because it's the first game. And also, there's the fact that there's several other things that are just called Mortal Kombat. Like, like I, I, it's MK12. Just call it MK12. And it's, it's, that didn't even seem like a tournament story. I mean, we don't even know, right? We, we at least got some, like, story info there. We know what's going on, which is more than I expected. But, man, that is worse than I expected. Again, my, my, my standards keep fucking being lowered. And I have, like, a really low bar for my standards. So what we learned now is this Liu Kang. I don't know, it's Raiden. No, that, that, that looked like a completely random motherfucker who was, like, in, in the background. That one thing. Katana Melina, which Melina is just going to be a mainstay now, which is lame. Waste of a slot because they don't do anything with her character. They could this game, but they're just going to do the shitty rivalry, aren't they? And Shang Tsung, who, you know, I don't care how much you like uh, the, the 95 actor, that didn't make his portrayal in Aftermath good. He, like, 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 it was very contrived. He knew an absurd amount of knowledge. That didn't make sense. There's no logical reason why he could have made the Soul Crown. Uh, yeah, it was just a bad story. Poorly told. Even if his personality is charming. Are they even going to have the same voice actor? I hope not, because I want to see different takes on the character. Um, like, I think the German voice for him in MK11 was actually really fucking good. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care much. But yeah, that, that does show he will be involved in the story, I guess. But that's so weird. I I, I don't know what's going on. The Scorpion Sub-Zero, Liu Kang, Kung Lao. It, it just, we, we know standard stuff. Um, I'm disappointed. Well, okay, no. I knew it was going to be bad, but... Yeah, that's so weird. Intra it says Nintendo Switch. Um, there were leaks before from some guy who just said, trust me, bro. Um, I don't know anything about the guy. I don't know if he's been right before. But that might be worth looking back on before. That might have some credibility. Because it seems like it's coming out on Switch, judging by this. Or it could just be a mistake. Because this website, this webpage <laughs> has been poorly made. I'm doing web design. I know you don't do fonts like this. Uh, great, but yeah, look, PS5, Xbox Series X, which, yeah, yeah, next next exclusive that also has a Switch port. Unless the Switch port is like a completely different game, and that doesn't seem feasible. Um, but yeah, that is it. Right, I'm not going to drag it out. I think that was terrible. Um... Yeah, that's my reaction. At least there's something to react to. Um, so yeah, bye.